After lots of the videos from now on, I'm going to be setting you little challenges so you can get used to independently going out and using all the resources that are available to explore and learn about Sonic Pi more independently. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. After the last video, I think you should now know how you can look up information about any command that I throw your way. So I'd like you to go away and find out everything you can about the HZ to MIDI command and I'm not going to tell you any more about it but you know exactly where you can go in the program to find out what that command does and so I'm going to give you 15 seconds now just pause the video go away find out as much as you can play around with this command and then we'll talk through it once we get started again. Hopefully you remembered that if there's ever a new command or a command you can't quite remember and you need to know how it works, you can always look them up in the help tab, which appears just by clicking this button here on the top right hand corner. And out of all of the commands, look at all these different commands that Sonic Pi understands, we're able to pick out this HZ2 MIDI command and read all about it. And it's telling us that this is all about converting a frequency in Hertz to a MIDI note. Now frequency is a really important component of pitch and it's all about how many times a second a sound is vibrating. And so this is a really useful tool if we know that we need to produce a sound with a certain frequency but we don't actually know what its MIDI number is. And so for example if I was to say that I know that when an orchestra tunes up it tunes up to a note of 440 hertz all I need to do is write that in and Sonic Pi will do all the rest so there's our tuning note of A it's the A above middle C and you'll see if we look at the log that Sonic Pi was able to do that conversion and turn that frequency into a MIDI number because that's what Sonic Pi likes to work with. It likes to work with MIDI numbers rather than frequencies and rather than letter names. You remember when we used the um, colon C4 to indicate a particular pitch, that was just a sort of label and under the surface Sonic Pi was doing the same kind of conversion, turning those other things into the MIDI numbers that it understands. So here it was using MIDI number 69 to play as a note. So if we were to change this and not have that but instead just write 69, then we get exactly the same note. And so it's a useful tool. We may never use it ever again, but there might come a time where you want to use it. Really, this was just a demonstration of how you can find out a new command. And it's really great that Sonic Pi has all of these commands because this is the maths that you would need to do in your program to do that conversion. And because this command exists, you don't need to worry about any of that math, although it's quite interesting. Um, you can just dive straight in and get that value that you need um, just by looking it up in the help section. And we'll be needing that help section more and more as we explore Sonic Pi in lots more detail.